Okay. Some bait, some bunny bait, and a bigger ball. We're gonna knock this out. Hey everyone, welcome back to Open Gate Farmstead. This is Sarah, and welcome to our channel. So our speckled Sussex decided to have her second batch, and I do believe they hatched today, but this is the second stash of eggs she stowed away in this barn. She's just desperate to be a mommy, so. I'm gonna be hands off this time and let her just teach them to forage, which she's doing a really good job teaching them right now. Uh, first batch I collected from her. She was not too happy with me, but it was a little bit colder then and I just wasn't sure how many would make it. I'm trying to get a count, but it's a little too hard. They keep scrambling around, so we'll see if we can get a count. In it. And I did find her egg stash. She's got quite a few right there. But she's abandoned it. And let's see. So this one, you can see it was zippered. But the baby's expired in there, so we're not gonna mess with that one. Then we have this one. There's no sound, so I think it's not fertilized. And also this one, not pipped, not fertilized. But this one, I could hear peeping from outside. And she's already kind of abandoned the nest. So to intervene or not to intervene, I would say typically intervene. So let's see what we can do. See what we're looking at in here, how dry it is. You can see it's pretty dry. So it looks super papery. Yeah, I'm not really seeing any membranes. And he is zippered in there, which is what I thought was going on. He is totally zippered. saran wrapped I guess I should say he is saran wrapped in there I'm seeing a little bit of blood okay so I'm going to stop right there we're gonna get him out just a little bit I always just pull the necks out You are severely stuck. Okay. Now I'll lay him in here and let him push out the rest of the way and I'll check on him about every hour. 
If when I come back out he's looking a little cold and not really popping out too much, I'm going to put him in the incubator inside and let him just finish finish hatching out. But he was definitely a little stuck in there. And Mama has already moved on. So we'll see. Hey girl, hey. Hey Tuna. How you doing? Here's my thought. Okay. Okay. You game time! We're in the workshop and the floors are different. And it's amazing. It's lavish. So lavish. It's so lavish that we're gonna have to sweep dirt in here, which is weird. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of our tools were getting ruined because of condensation from having a dirt floor. And me leaving them outside. And that, a big part of that. But also, it'll happen. The dirt floor in here no matter what stuff was just getting rusted yeah so it was now it's level and yeah when matt brings tools back from his parents we will have a place for them hopefully i'm pretty proud of all the stores <laughs> we've done so far yeah matt's been killing it i'm taking no credit for any of this i did do some cementing you help a lot on the cement So this is the little scraggler from yesterday, the little late hatch that we assisted. I ended up going back in there probably within 30 minutes to an hour and he felt just a little bit cold to the touch. So then I brought him in because I have Scovy eggs in the incubator right now anyway. So I let him fluff out a little bit. He still has a little thing stuck to his bum. So we're waiting for that to dry up and wait for him to fluff out a little bit. And then hopefully I'll be able to bond him with the chicks that hatched the other day. Even though he's gonna be a slightly smaller, slightly less developed. If he has to come in and be solo, we can do that. But I think that they are really noisy, especially him now that he's alone, he wants a friend. And so I'd really, really like to bond him with the rest of them. Are you going to be strong and brave? Forging is business. I really wanted to show some cheese making because it's so new to me and it's so fun to do and we have so much milk. But then this happened. So I figured it probably wasn't the best representation of cheese making. I then sat on the floor and ate cheese with Cooper. Cooper. It was good. Cooper and I liked it, but definitely Try, try again.
to be really quiet. I have been trying to catch rabbits for so long. I got one in the trap right now. I just need to hit the door with a slingshot. Let's see if we can do it. It will be the coolest thing I've done in my life thus far. If I get that done, let's go. Also, I cannot keep the pigs in. The pigs have literally gone out like eight times a day. That's what I'm dealing with right now. But then I saw an opportunity. Bunnies in the trap, so let's try. Drop that lid down with the slingshot. What a light down. I hit it dead on too. Look at this thing. This is the coolest wedding gift we got. I mean, there was a lot of cool gifts, like, not to put down anybody's gifts, but this is so cool. I hit it dead on, but these little, these are just not big enough, so I think what I'm going to do is step it up and shoot a bigger bow. So, let's wait till they come back out, and then we're going to try again. It was ballsy to try and get that close, but it let me get that close. It was munching, then I'd creep. Munch, creep. Come for them bunnies. See how close we can get. I think if I hit it from the side this time, it works better. Well, that was a fail. <sighs> I need something bigger, much bigger, less chance of missing. Big like champion monsters. Bigger. Bigger. This is what I need to catch these bonnies. Okay, so here's my new plan slingshot way too high of a percentage of miss and hit some tiny I need something bigger less chance of missing my plan is wait until just before dawn is dawn in the morning at night time wait just before dark and then once the rabbits are all like browsing it's gonna be like seven o'clock I'm gonna slowly stretch this across. <laughs> no one's gonna notice me. And then I'm gonna round up the rabbits and push them into this, hoping that nobody gets hurt, but they get tangled and I catch them. I think it's gonna work. If you think it's gonna work, root me on down below. I gotta catch these guys. So before the rabbits come back out and I get another chance at catching them tonight, I have a few things I need to get done. I need to pick our second round of garden huckleberries and freeze them up for future wine making. I need to pick some Blue Lake bush beans for tonight's dinner. I need to do some weed whacking. And I'd also like to take you into our rabbit colony and show you what has changed in there in the past month. Sick in the morning, baby, don't leave. They don't need to know we're out here, wild and free. They say we're crazy. 
crazy, it's too much And yeah, we're crazy, deep in love Okay, welcome to Fort Fox, my silver fox rabbit colony. See behind me, Lucille's popping out. She's really turned out to be a beautiful, thick silver fox. You can see I'm trying out a new substrate. I laid down rocks on top of fencing and then I'm trying to seed it with clover. This could be hit or miss. This is what I'm trying first. I seeded it about a week ago. We got a good amount of stuff coming in, mainly where there's low traffic in here. Hey, Mrs. Robinson. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. <laughs> you can see my new chocolate silver fox, Matilda. She kind of just. Boop, pop down to the picture right there. Um, if this substrate ends up not working out, what I'd like to do, or my plan too, is to bring in sand. Bring in a big sand haul, make it like a giant litter box for bunnies. And so that I can rake it out and still use the poop fertilizer in the garden. Um, right now it's really hard to clean out. Most of the time the bunnies spend their entire day underground. I'm cool with that, but it makes it incredibly hard to keep track of litters. Um, I always know who is breeding, but I don't know who is got an active nest underground. Uh, right now I have my new breeder buck, Jasper. He's out of Carrot Garden in Rochester, Rochester, New York. I actually got him from Fox Hill Rabbit Tree in Maine. That is Eleanor Rigby running away from. And so it's, you know, kind of like an experiment. Uh, so far, I do really like Colony versus Cage. I definitely prefer it. I think the rabbits also prefer it. I like that they have more room, more options of food. Um, you can see my waters, all these big tanks behind. One thing I did switch up, which I'll share with you, is I had those, uh, it's, I think it holds 100 gallons of water. I had those with tops. You don't use those for rabbits. They will pop the tops off, even if you have them, like, an apparatus holding it in. They popped off. Um, and I did have a rabbit drown. That was super crappy. And also another thing is tubes. In the past, I had a rabbit get stuck in tubing. If you're going to use tubing for rabbits to crawl in and out, and you think, oh, more options. It's going to be so fun for them. Make sure that they're wide enough because they will get stuck and the rabbits can die of panic. <laughs> I'm just tired now, but we'll, let's go catch it. <laughs> what kind of a pep talk was that? No, I don't want to be on video. You got this. No. <laughs> this is going to be a shoe in I swear. All right, what do you got there? I got it. They already know what this is. <laughs> Everything I do, I do it, dude. Okay, it's right there. Let's get it in the corner. <gasps> yes! Went in the coop? <laughs> and that is how you catch your ass. Alright. <laughs> Go get it. 
That's how open get roll. 8.36, we just caught one bunny. All I needed was my best partner. <laughs> Rabbit catching. For a little bit of help. And we got her. Thank you so much for watching this video update vlog of our Open Gate Farmstead. We hope you can click the bell, subscribe, you'll see everything I post when I post it. And we hope... Leave you... us a good comment too, let us know what you think. Yeah, leave us a comment, just say hello, say where you're from. We'd love to hear from you. Till then, we hope you stay chillin'. Peace. <laughs>